Good morning, everybody. Today is day three of my 30 day video challenge here in 2020. And today is also day 10 of the coronavirus uh, lockdown here in Los Angeles. So I'm going to do a workout this morning with November Project of National Fame and Presence. Try and get a workout in every day. If I'm sitting at home all day, if the most exercise I get is going from sitting at my computer down, down the stairs to grab a snack out of the cupboard, that's not gonna keep me very strong. So uh, try and keep your bodies moving, keep your muscles strong while we're in this isolation. So I'm sitting on my front porch sunning. I've been spending a lot of the day inside. It gets dark and it feels kind of cramped, so it's nice just to sit out here and listen to the birds and read a book. Kind of bright though, I should have wore a hat. That's good. <laughs> Someone's celebrating. Uh, yeah, it's all good here. Real low key, real relaxed day. Yo, I get so hyped over these chess games, it's ridiculous. My heart's beating all fast, I'm like, panting. Yeah, my day was pretty, like, low-key. I spent like two, two and a half hours video editing. Uh, I ate a huge bowl of salad, uh, had a smoothie for breakfast. I forgot to take my camera with me a whole bunch of places today, but today, was a lesson, so I'm gonna carry this thing around with me more often, so it's not just videos of me cleaning the bathroom. Hopefully I can get a little more variety into the things that I'm doing. And uh, you know what? I just wanna see what I look like on camera, so I'm gonna do crazy, I'm gonna do crazy things. See, I learned these things from Michael Hale in my youth. It is the art, I think, of expression, of like unfettered, unrestrained, uh, expression and being able to like, being able to say whatever the fuck you want to, being able to do whatever you want to, not feeling bad about it, and just to be like, hey, this is me. This is what you get. Okay, yeah, wow, I think so often in my life, wow, this is turning into a therapy session, I've been like very reserved and like very controlled and like very like metered, uh, but freaking A, sometimes you just gotta cut loose and I think being stuck in the house, ironically, uh, and making these videos is like, providing me an opportunity to let loose and to see what I look like on camera and to see what it's like when I do this stuff. So I'm feeling pretty ridiculous right now, not gonna lie. Feeling quite ridiculous after all that. But uh, I'm also feeling a little bit free and uh, a little bit more confident. And I just felt my back get straighter and, and I got this little tingle like up my spine, back behind my neck and uh, probably got a good angle of the inside of my nose from there and I might look like a thumb. Uh, but that's life, you know? Sometimes you're gonna look like a thumb. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm thumbing it up right now. Am I still recording? I press the settings button. Yeah, it's still recording. And you know what? I think sometimes, like, sometimes you just gotta talk. You just gotta keep talking. Doesn't even matter what you're talking about. You could be talking about dumb stuff. You could be talking about, you could be talking about, I don't know, peas. You could be talking about fur, anything. But as long as you keep on talking, it's like when you talk, you hold the conversation. I think there's something about control, like when you talk, if you can just speak 
and speak and speak and speak. If somebody's not willing to cut you off or if somebody's too polite to listen, then you could just talk forever about whatever you want to and and just roll with it and just keep going and like when you stumble you get back up and you keep going and like there will be rocks in the road but eventually you'll recognize them and you'll learn to dance around them and you can get around them and in that way and through that process your style and manner and meter of speaking will improve and it will improve uh, I believe proportionally to the amount that you practice and the amount that you try. And I find that there are people in my life who I admire their capacity and their ability to speak. And those people, when they talk, they sound like how I sound like right now, which is weird for me to like realize in this moment. And not in the content about what they're saying, but in the feeling of how they say it. To me, it kind of feels manic. It feels a little manic. Like it reminds me uh, of someone very close to me. A couple people. Actually, all these people that I'm talking about and more. Uh, but there's also some utility to it in being able to carry through. In, in being able to continue to speak and to continue to hold the floor. Now, I believe that a pitfall to that is that people start rambling and and they can lose they can lose it because then it just seems like a power grab but i think that if you can stay on target and if you can stay on point with your talking stay relevant stay focused stay engaged then you can probably probably use it uh, to a pretty solid advantage and it's interesting because this for me is like a safe space. This is a very safe environment to run this experiment on. In which to run this experiment. Because it's just me and my camera, right? Which like this isn't intimidating at all. I know that maybe a thousand people are going to see it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's be honest. Maybe like, maybe like 30 people will see this. So for those of you who are watching, I appreciate your attention. Uh, but like this isn't intimidating, right? Even though in the future, like, you know, many people could be seeing this. But right now it's just me and a camera. Now, if I was around six or seven other people, I wouldn't be talking like this. But I want to be able to develop that capacity to be able to talk like this when I need to. And to be able to think on the fly and to present the ideas that I have when I need to. And so this for me is actually really important. And this actually feels really good even though I'm just in the kitchen alone uh, talking to a camera. But it is really important for me because it's allowing me to practice this facility of speech. Uh, and that's something that like I've always had a chip on my shoulder about because I've always been like... I suck at talking like I don't know how to talk to people and so it's really I, I really can't emphasize this enough it is so nice to be able to just talk like I'm seven and a half minutes in how have I been talking for seven minutes that is weird that is weird I don't know I didn't have any caffeine earlier I did drink some dang good vegetable juice that that uh, that was juiced yesterday uh, and so that kind of feels like crack sometimes when I drink that but I don't know I did have four squares of Hershey's chocolate um, which yeah that's some sugar that might get me popped up but uh, you know what other than that I'm, I'm feeling good I'm feeling real good so thank you guys for enduring this uh, it's it can be tough I'm, I'm sure it's tough for me just listening to these words coming out of my mouth. But uh, I want to thank you guys all for coming on this journey with me. All of you guys, even if I haven't seen you in a long time, I want to thank you for, one, just for like, just for being here. Like, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're here. Uh, you're probably a better force in the world. The world is probably better because you're here rather than it not being here. Uh, but also, I want to thank you guys for 
sharing sharing this journey and my growth and uh, watching some of it and I really appreciate just like insight that you guys have and your attention and uh, the opportunity to be able to connect and communicate with the people uh, in my community at small and at large and that is very meaningful to me. So, I'll have a long day of editing this tomorrow, but uh, this is it for day three, so I'm cutting out. You all have a wonderful day, have a wonderful evening. I hope you're taking care of yourselves like, like so much. Make sure you're getting exercise. Pick up something heavy and lift it. Like, that's cool. Do squats. There's so many body exercises you can do. You can do squats, push-ups, lunges. Open up YouTube, do some yoga, do some handstands, uh, hang from something if you have something to hang from. Eat good food, you guys. Take care of your immune systems. This virus is trying to take us out. We got to make sure that our bodies are the best equipped that we can possibly make them to fight this virus. So leafy greens, excuse me, that was a little burp, a little burp, uh, leafy greens, Cut out sugar, cut out as much processed sugar as you can. I did just have some Hershey's chocolate bar. I also am embarrassed to say it, but I ate an entire bag of Cheetos today. Probably, yeah, maybe like a quarter pound. Um, so I'm just gonna be real honest with you guys. I did that, yeah. Ooh. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run that off. <laughs> It'll be a couple hours. Uh, but yeah, you know, nobody's perfect, but uh, I hope we're all trying to get better. So, all right, you guys, you have a good day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.